Hello students. Now in this video, I will demonstrate to you how to construct regular polygons when given the length of one side. Now this is also a universal method, which means that you can construct any given polygon using this particular method. All right, so today we'll focus on a pentagon and I will show you how you can obtain a hexagon, a heptagon, and all the other polygons using this method. All right, so I'll go straight into the steps. Um, the pentagon is labeled as A, B, C, D, E, and the side of the pentagon is given as 60 millimeters. Now, the first thing you need to do is to draw a line using the length of the side that is given, which is 60 mm. All right, so we'll draw that side from using the length of 60 mm, rather. And of course, we need to label. We label A and B. Good. Now, what we need to do next, we need to bisect this AB line. All right, we need to bisect this AB line. And of course, I'm sure we can remember how to bisect a straight line. All right, so we bisect the AB line. And you will see just now the reason why we bisect um, the AV line. Yes, yes, so we are in the process of bisecting this. A, B line, all right. Um, what I forgot to mention is that when we draw in this line upwards, we want to extend it a little bit higher, right? Because um, we would need to find some divisions on that line and some of it might be a bit high. So we need to cater for that. Good. Now, after we bisect, what we need to do next is find angles. The first one is 45 and the next one is 60 degrees. All right, 45 and 60 degrees. So we place the sets, the protractor and we find 45. So we can see 40 here, we can see 50 here. So 45 is in between. Then of course 60 would be right there at 60, which is the same as 120. Good. So we find those two angles. Now we need to draw lines to those two angles, of course, and we draw them from A. All right, we draw them from A. So from A, we draw a line. So oh, the angle. Now, of course, um, we don't have to go all the way to the point. We can just stop on the line because that is what we are basically looking for. And of course, we do the same from A to the 60 degree point. So we simply draw a line from there also, and we stop on the line. All right, we stop on the line. Now, for the purpose of um, clarity, I will just move this a little bit down, right? So that you wouldn't get confused. Good. So the point where the, the 45 degree angle touches the line, we label that point four, and then the one on top, we label that one six. All right, so we have two points, four and six. 
Now, if we wanted to get a six-sided figure, which is a hexagon, I would use six, open to A, and draw a circle. All right? If I wanted to get a square, I would use four, open to B, or A, and draw a circle. So what is that? What that is saying to you is that whatever um, polygon you're looking for, you need to use a particular number in order to draw the circle. And the number must be corresponding with the number of sides that the polygon has. Now you might be wondering, where is five? If this is four and this is six, then of course five is somewhere in the middle. And in order to find five, we need to bisect the distance between four and six because five is exactly between four and six. So we carry out the steps again and bisect in a straight line. All right, that is four, sorry, that is six. And now you come from four and you do the same on this side. All right, and of course, through that, those intersections, you draw a line. And that division there will give you five. So we'll just um, label five while we're here. Good. So seeing that we're looking for a pentagon, we would use five as the center, and we'll draw a circle. Now, of course, I mentioned that you must open the pencil point so A or B, which is supposed to be the same distance, right? B or E, which is supposed to be the same distance, and you draw your circle. All right, you draw your circle. Now, in order to get the sides of the pentagon, you need to open to the length of the side that is given, which is 60 mm AB, right? And you mark or describe arcs around. One there. And you go on that one. And you describe another. And then you go on that one. <clears throat> right? And you describe another. So from that, you can safely use those points, right, as vortices. We already have two vertices, A and B, all right? And we use those arcs as the others. So we simply draw lines of those vertices. So A, B, C, D, and the last one, E. So there we have our pentagon, all right? Now, points to note that you need to be absolutely accurate when you're constructing this, um, these polygons using this method, all right? Because what you will find, if you are not accurate, you will not end up with five equal sides, right? You will not end up with five equal sides. And as you can see, mine is not 100% accurate because the last side is shorter than the others, right? It's shorter than the others. So you need to be accurate. You need to be precise if you want to get equal sides for your polygons. Now, like I was saying, if you want to get a hexagon, then you use six as the center and you draw a circle and then you mark off AB around the circle, just as we did for this pentagon. If you want to get a seven-sided figure, which is a heptagon, then what you would need to do is take the length from six to five I take the length from six to five and mark it above six. 
and that will give you seven. If you want eight, you go on seven and describe another one that will give you eight. If you want nine, you keep doing the same. All right, so the only difference in this construction is where you use to draw the circle. All right, if you use six, you will get a six-sided figure. If you use seven, you will get a seven-sided figure and so on. All right, so that's the only um, difference or, or variation in terms of this particular construction. And I hope you can remember also that I mentioned that it is a universal method, which means you can construct any polygon using this method, even a triangle. Right, if you want to find a triangle, you use from four to five and you mark a point below four. You draw the circle from there and you will get a triangle. All right, so I do hope that this video helps you and now you'll be able to complete whatever task you're given. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.